Bitcoin's going crazy and you wanna smash by a bunch of Bitcoin right now on Coinbase. So you pull up your app and you realize you're about to waste a gajillion dollars in fees and there's gotta be a better option. In fact, there is. So I'm gonna show you how people normally buy Bitcoin on Coinbase, but how you can hack the system and save over 50% in fees. And then I'll show you at the very end how to save even more money if you're just exchanging stable coins. You can pay very, 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 very little in fees. So let's check it out. All right, so here's my Coinbase account. I wanna smash by $5,000 of crypto because I'm really excited about this bull run coming up in 2024. Check it out. I'm gonna go buy $5,000 and preview the order. But boom, first thing I see, $73.41 fee. Doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're trading continuously, this happens on the buy side and on the sell side, right? If I'm going back and I wanna sell my crypto and I hit sell up here, it's the same deal. I go in here and I type in 5,000 bucks. I wanna sell my Bitcoin, $74 fee, right? So no matter what, you're gonna hit with this fee. But the other key piece that's really important to look at here is if I go back to buy, check this out, you might not even notice it. Bitcoin's price is 68,200 bucks, but Bitcoin's actual price is 67,474. So they're charging you a higher price to buy the Bitcoin and slapping you with a $73 fee. That is called the spread. And the spread is the difference between what Bitcoin costs on the market price and then what they're charging you. And they collect the difference between those two prices. So they buy Bitcoin or own it at 67,500. They facilitate that trade. They sell it to you for a little bit higher price. They collect that difference. It's called the spread. And so if you wanna look at what the spread is, they put this teeny tiny little question mark. And if you click on that, it'll tell you right now, spread fees 1% on this Bitcoin purchase. The spread fee can actually vary if you hit the learn more here button and it pulls up information about the spread. If you go up here, it'll say, you can see the spread by previewing a buy, sell or convert order. It doesn't tell you what it is here. Right now it's telling me what the exchange rate is, but it can change depending on volume. If things get really crazy, the spread can get even bigger and they can collect a larger fee. So it's really important to look at if you're trying to just make a regular purchase. The same thing on your mobile app, right? Your mobile app order form is gonna look very, very similar to this on Coinbase. You pull it up and you're gonna have that price difference. In addition, the Coinbase fee, if you click here, it just says it can vary depending on market conditions, payment methods, size of order, all this other stuff. So they can literally just make up a fee and charge you even more if you're buying some meme coin that's really hot right now. You know, like they can actually do that. So if you go back into their terms and conditions and go down to the fee information, it actually tells you it's a bunch of factors that can influence the fee. So it's not just like, oh, it's a 1% fee. They don't have a flat fee. They have a variable fee they can change at any time, which can make them even more money. So if we just wanna run the math real quick on this, like if I pull up a calculator, right, a 73, let's call it a $74 fee divided by that $5,000 order. We're already looking at a, almost 1.5% fee. And then you're adding that 1% fee on top of it. In addition to this 1.48%, you're paying an extra $50 fee, which is a 1% fee on that $5,000 order. So I actually did the math based on this, just regular trading, you're paying 2.47% fees or $123.41 in value difference. So you're already losing that much money immediately when you place the trade through regular Coinbase. So to get around that, let's do something called Coinbase Advanced. Now Coinbase Advanced is their advanced trading platform and regulars like us clicking through this might be really overwhelming because it's immediately they're gonna hit you with these bar charts and all this complicated stuff on the order form and you might wanna run away, but don't do that because you could save yourself almost $100 here. So check it out. First things first you're gonna notice is it's not Bitcoin, it's Bitcoin USD pair. So they do everything in trading pairs because basically you're trading one asset for another. So you're trading your US dollars, USD for Bitcoin. So when you want to find the asset you wanna buy, whether it's SHIB, ETH, you know, USDT, Doge, whatever, it's gonna be paired with another asset. So if you look at this thing called all markets, it might look a little overwhelming, but if you just go over and click on USD, say you're using your own US dollars, then you can just go, oh, here's the trading pair I want paired up with my US dollars. The other key is that you need to actually load your money in into this. So you can't just connect your bank account. You gotta load US dollars into the platform so then you can actually make the purchase. So you've gotta load the $5,000 onto Coinbase first, right? The money has to transfer there first, then you can use this platform. So once you got the money on Coinbase though, you can go over to the order form, ignore all these shiny lights and order book and all that junk. Just look at this right here. We're gonna zoom in and just look at the order form. 
Now the order forms got buy and sell, just like you would on the Coinbase regular stuff, but then you've got limit order, market order, stop limit order. You got to set the prices. You've got mid bid, you got up and down. Like there's a bunch of tons of options here. So first things first is when you first log in, it'll probably say market order. And the market order won't necessarily, it'll save you some, right? So if I want to place a $5,000 order, right? My fee all of a sudden went down from 73 bucks to 50 bucks. And guess what? There is no spread here, right? So you're not paying that extra $50 spread fee. So you just have a flat 1% fee on that 5,000 bucks. Awesome. So you just saved yourself already like 75 bucks here. But if you want the number to go even lower, go over here to limit order. And this is going to, you know, capture the latest Bitcoin price, but set the Bitcoin price you want to execute that purchase at. If Bitcoin's kind of going up in value, maybe you can go slightly up. So maybe we want 68,000. Once Bitcoin hits that number, we can make that purchase. And then go down here, you'll see execution, right? Normally it says allow taker and a taker will give you that 1% fee. So it's still gonna be that $50 fee. But if you wanna make it a maker or a post only, where it has to match that, you can lower your fee even further to 30 bucks, right? And I made put that into the spreadsheet here. Go to Coinbase Advance, set it to post only, and now you're only paying $30. You can save yourself $93.41 buying crypto or selling crypto on Coinbase. So save yourself a massive amount in fees, especially if you're gonna be actively trading during this bull run. Go to Advanced Trade, make sure you find the trading pair you want and set it to post only to save a ton in fees. If you don't want to be an active trader, you just happen to use Coinbase because it's easy, but maybe you want to buy Bitcoin and you just want a dollar cost average into it over time, check out my favorite platform, Swan Bitcoin. It's built for someone like you where you can put in a certain amount per day, per week, per month, and it'll even help you calculate, you know, how much can be in over time. And it'll automatically do that stuff in the background. You set it, you forget it. And they have a simple flat fee, even less than Coinbase. 1%, it's 0.99%. And there's no fee to withdraw it. They'll pay the network fees for you. So if you want, I've got an entire video on that up here, or you can just check out the link in the description below for Swan Bitcoin. So hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you can see how using Coinbase Advanced Trade can save you a crap ton in fees uh, in the coming years. All right, I'll see you.